previously on Da Vinci's inquest. How many prostitutes we picked up in the past week? In the last 18 months, it's been six, maybe seven. What else is there in common? Alcohol overdoses or complications from alcohol. Drug and alcohol overdoses among prostitutes in our neck of the woods not exactly rare. This is about you being angry and trying to find some way to attack Jim and me. <laughs> and here it was me thinking it was about a half a dozen women who may have been murdered. No! Don't be long. Your ex agreed with Glenn that it was more than likely an accident, so we terminated the investigation. It fits the pattern. It fit, no, it's a bad. She reported seeing the company of a man, right? Who go in, they go into a room, and then she's found with excessive levels of alcohol. She's loaded to the gills. That's a pattern. Homicide squad. Happen to know this woman?
Did you wake me up? Those are your footprints up there? Yeah, uh -huh. I looked uh, pretty close, but she didn't seem to have any injuries. I think she could have fallen. Okay, here's rule number one, all right? Before you call the corner service, you gotta have yourself a body. If they're still alive, what do you do? You call an ambulance, okay? She wasn't breathing, she had no pulse. Half the people in the city haven't got a pulse, doesn't mean they're dead. Where? Where'd they take her? Okay. Got it. Leo. Yes. The woman was found under the pier this morning. Uniform thinks she's dead, right? Calls up Da Vinci. He shows up. He's checking her out. She wakes up. He jumps out of his shoes. She wakes up. <laughs> uh, we should interview her. Huh? I can't go. I gotta be at a case review. Okay. I'll take Cosmo. I think she's got the hots for me. <laughs> now, these women were all found dead within this square mile on the streets and the shoreline right outside of this window, right on our doorstep. Now, all of their deaths, with the exception of uh, Roxanne Flowers and Jane Doe, were ruled to be accidental deaths by alcohol poisoning. There was no evidence of violence. There was no suspicion of foul play, so... No serology was taken. Even though everyone knew that these girls were working as street hookers on the east side, no serology was taken. Now, the serology sample from Roxanne Flowers was regretted by seawater, so that leaves us now, I'm afraid, with uh, Jane Doe. Um, I'll be performing the autopsy this morning. Jane Doe was left in a hotel room, so we may get DNA from a semen sample, but there's no telling how many clients she had or in what order. And if the perpetrator, assuming there was one, was smart and used a condom, we may not get anything at all. We're circulating a photo of Jane Doe, see if we can get an ID. Somebody must have seen her getting picked up. Whoa, whoa. Can we talk a little more generally here? How wide a review are you planning? That's why it's needed. You're questioning evidence, scene analysis, pathology, your own people's expertise. That's the mandate of the coroner, sir. It's an open invitation to raise the dead. That's what it is. If there's any lawyer out there who thinks his client got a raw deal from any of us, he's going to demand an appeal. It's my mandate. Boy. Has anyone really considered the repercussions if we do this? It's a tremendous waste of time, money, and resources. If he's wrong. Having said that, I think we would all rather err on the side of safety and risk the downside. There's no question that we should be investigating this. You all have legitimate concerns. And we should all strive to be discreet for obvious reasons. All of this on some unsubstantiated theory that these are connected. Well, we have the possible witness now. As of this morning, she survived a similar attack. Just found out on the way in this morning. Shaving in a shark pool, isn't it? Detective, come see me in my office when you're free. Yes, sir. 
custodian of my reputation. But you know what? Maybe we should let Sonny take care of this. Why would you prefer Sonny? Uh, I thought I prefer her. She just might see something you miss. Why not? Because <laughs> you think you can manipulate her. No, no. She was the one that noticed the frequency on this. She tipped me to it. It's fair. I'm going to get into this myself for two reasons. Number one, I want to learn from my mistakes, oh. if I made any. Number two, I don't want you driving a flaming wagon through my house. You are a goddamned emotional arsonist. You're the one having the affair with my boss in my house where my daughter sleeps. Don't you dare. Talk to me about affairs. I remember yours. You may have conveniently blacked them out. I remember. Every one of them. My detectives are not going to be too happy about the extra work, I'll tell you. They're already run ragged. Now I'm asking them to double check their own past cases. The alternative is we take it to inquest and air it out in public. I'll keep Dominic on a short leash. Boy, if he's right, somebody's going to take the stick for this. Well, give it some time. If the suspect turns up, it's out of our hands and into yours. You know what the bitch is like. You give him a stage, he's going to use it. I get five autopsies on the list. What do they overlook? Each had the existing conditions of a chronic alcoholic. The only thing unusual was the exceptionally high levels of blood alcohol. That by itself should have set off an alarm. Well, they were anywhere from six to 14 months apart, given the number of autopsies you perform. Sonny, please. I am not looking for ways to cover my ass. I'm looking for what I missed. Head wound appears superficial. Respiratory depression was noted in three of the five. That's not particularly unusual. They weren't eating well in the first place, might have had a touch of pneumonia. They had the preconditions. No. Nope. I only saw what I was looking for. Bad livers, poor health, poor respiration, high levels of alcohol. My mistake was, I didn't look beyond those things. I was complacent. Wayne. About this bruising down mm. here in the legs. She's an alcoholic. She's stumbling around. It's common. These women are operating on base levels of alcohol that would leave any one of us on the floor unconscious. So the thinking here is they were already loaded to begin with. They drank a shitload more on top of that, causing death. Maybe pour it down their throat. No, it has to be voluntary intake. Otherwise, a gag reflex kicks in. Well, if it's a voluntary, it's not murder. It's adventure. Right. Unless we find something else. Okay, let's open her up. Well, how you feeling, sweetheart? A little rough. Broke her rib, I guess. Well, you look pretty good, considering. You're very lucky. Oh, yeah, I've always been lucky. Can you uh, tell us anything about last night? I don't know. I, uh, I think I blacked out. You know, I could, uh, I could use a drink right now. Gloria. We really need you to focus on last night, okay? The driver. Um, any recollection of what he looked like? Look, I don't, I don't really remember much. Did you have any drinks with this guy? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, where? Uh, a hotel, a beer parlor. Gloria. 
Look her. Could you get the nurse for me? I need something for my head. Oops, sorry. I gotta try to catch this one. Yeah, I'll fly the nurse. I know that guy. What's his name? It's Detective Shannon. Well, maybe he picked me up before. You been arrested before? Yeah, maybe that was it. Maybe another time. You mean he, he might have been a client? One of your tricks? Yeah, maybe. It wouldn't be the first time I've been with a cop. Did I, uh, did I have some jewelry on when I came in? Um, I'm not sure we could find out, though. Why, are you missing anything? Yeah, two rings. Oh, ooh. Your last meal wasn't completely digested. French fries, fish. That doesn't usually take long to break down. How long? An hour or two, maybe less. I'm not going to talk about time of death. Too many variables. It's forensic evidence that wouldn't last the life cycle of a plea in court. Shit. Nothing so far. I'm gonna have a cigarette before we open up the head. Why are you telling me this? Because it bothered me. Halfway through the interview, Leo steps out for a call. And then Gloria tells me maybe she knows him. Maybe she knows Leo. Yeah, so what does that mean? As a trick. Oh. Yeah, maybe she knows him. She's useless on details, is that right? You're defending him. Against a rumor, yeah. I'd do the same thing for you if someone was telling stories about your sex life. The coroner should be taking the heat on this. He's the one who declared them all natural. No, we're not going to get anything out of pathology. We didn't get the first go around. Uh, you think they're going to go out of their way to look for their own mistakes? They think they're all geniuses, and the rest of us are just kind of slow. It's going to be on us and what we missed at the scene. So get out your raincoats and your rubber boots, boys and girls, because shit rolls downhill, and we're at the bottom. Give me a couple of those. He's right. Here. Let me hear those. Gladly. Let's see what you can find. Here you Break on uh, Jane Doe. She died from a cerebral hemorrhage caused by the fall against the radiator. Not directly an alcohol OD misadventure. Hey, hey. I thought we had a pattern. Well, not the pattern you were looking for, but I don't think we have a serial killer, but Doc? we have something. That was two butts. Mm hmm. I was taking serology samples, and I noticed some bruising and tearing in her vagina. It's not uncommon in her work, but I took some tissue samples. Take a look. Thanks. Now, normally, in bruising, you'll find a high number of white blood cells to advance healing. Yeah. Here, you have almost none. Yeah. But in the head wound, the white cell count indicates that her body was fighting to heal even as she was dying. I should have found the same indications over here. All of which point to the vaginal tearing being post-mortem. Uh, it's necrophile. Possibly. So, he's a non-violent perpetrator, a non-mutilator. What is he after that he can't buy from these women? Death. twisted villain.
Hey. How'd you get pulled in the office for? Ah, uh, the same old usual line, you know, watch his back, that kind of stuff. Yeah? Huh? The only time he ever takes anybody inside is to ask him to roll over on somebody else. Now, Leo, you're getting a little paranoid. First it's Da Vinci out to get you, and it's Regan, now me, what? We all three and more. You're too young and naive to understand. Just answer the question. He asked me to watch Da Vinci, not you, all right? You lie to me, Mick. You'll regret it. Sorry about it. So what do you think? Is there anything uh, in his past that would indicate tendencies like these? He might have begun a fantasy with a sexual partner willing to play dead. Maybe a favorite prostitute. I think it's safe to say that every sex crime is a fantasy that otherwise can't be fulfilled. Oh, that's great. But, uh, but couldn't he be satisfied uh, if he could acquire a dead body? Let's say he gets a job in a morgue or a funeral home. I can't say. The irony is, is that locating an available corpse is a lot more difficult than stalking and seducing these women. Any souvenirs? Clothing, lipstick, jewelry? You know, we have a potential witness right now who may have survived an attack. She says she's missing rings. Well, I wouldn't mind talking to her. Well, you know, we could probably arrange that, no? I'll just give you a call. You should call me anyway. Well, how's the, uh... How's your husband? I haven't checked lately. Everything we know so far, thank you, has to do with the ownership of the bodies. He's got a signature. It's his feeling of superiority. Oh, that's that FBI profiler bullshit. It's forensic psychiatrist, actually, yeah? Yeah, I got a cousin who's a psychic. It's a bit of a scam, but every once in a while she gets lucky. I want to hear about the signature thing. What? He may be taking jewelry, trinkets. He's into taking souvenirs, trophies. That could be a big part of the pattern. Everybody's looking for a pattern. Shit. It's random. Take a look out the freaking window. It's chaotic. That's the pattern. There's no pattern. What's in the woods today that I can kill? That's all. The guy is a hunter. They're the game. God forbid it's your day to get back. Okay, then. But when you're on the street, you might want to warn the wildlife. Mm -hmm. And you'll risk warning the guy off. These girls have got a right to know. Don't you think? I want to hear what your witness has to say. She's going to tell us more about this guy than anybody else at this point. Yeah, we're seeing her next. Good. I'll be on my side. All right. See you, Leo. Well, what do you think? Hmm. Never trust a guy who orders chicken feet. She checked herself out early this morning. Wonderful. Could screw this up any better if we were trying. Hoping that you might be able to help me find my sister. I used to send mail to her at this address. Your sister? Who's your sister? Roxanne. Roxanne Flowers. Roxanne? Oh, Roxy. <laughs> oh, sure. Uh, she hasn't gotten any mail for a while now. Have you seen her around lately? Not for a few weeks. 
And I was hoping to bring her home. She's got the little one. If she comes around, what should I tell her? I'm uh, staying at the Astoria. We'll be there for a couple of weeks. Okay. Well, good luck. She'll show up sooner or later. Can I get you something with that? No, thanks, son. Fine. Okay. Thanks. day, Norma? Uh-huh. Can't compete with the babies. How's your health? I wake up, I look in the mirror, I brush my teeth, and thank God. Kids? Back in the prairies with their aunt. Uh, have you ever seen any of these two girls before? Oof. Sure, I've seen them around. You know their names or where you might have seen them last? I was hoping you could tell me who's on the bad trick list <laughs> nowadays. That's a long list. Too long to keep track of. Hey. Should be through in a minute. They're trying to find a bad trick. This guy likes you to play dead. <laughs> Nobody I know. Will you tell the girls he's out there? Okay. Thanks, Dad. Next time I tell you to get in the car, get in the car. Smoke in the alley. Uh, take the rest of the day off. Slow. Louisa. what he wants, and I can take care of myself, thanks. What's your name? I didn't order this. I can't pay for it. It's my place, and I'm not asking you to pay for it. I don't take charity. Okay, I'll tell you what. I could use some help. My waitress got sick and went home early. and stomach contents, fish and chips. Uh oh here comes a bunch of gigantic pain in the ass. Do me a favor, okay, Tosco? Just stay here. Hey, 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 hey! Jimmy! Hey, Dom. Good. Hi, Jim. Sunny. I'm just going. Huh? 
<laughs> so, I remember the last time we were in this bar together. I offered you the job. I was right. Wave of nostalgia is coming on here. Old times, old favors. You threw me a lifeline and all that, right? Is that the uh, general drift? I want you to be more discreet. I don't want rumors of a necrophile getting out to the press. You know what that sounds like to me? It sounds like a gag order. Is that what you want me to do here? To shut up and go away? I also remember what you promised me. Yeah. That's the reason for this little house call, right, Doctor? You're pissing people off. Well, that's what I do. That's why you hired me. What are you telling me here now? I'm embarrassing you or what? No. You're embarrassing the office of the coroner. If you're going down, have the decency to go down alone. your call. Is your offer still open? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I uh, brought you this paper you might find interesting. Sex and death, two of your most favorite subjects. That was very thoughtful. Sex and death. Okay. Yeah. Look at this. I am such a mess. <laughs> oh. You're not. You don't think you need liquor in the house, maybe? That's okay. Would you like to go out? No, I'm not thirsty. No, no. I got from the phone. And... It's okay. But I would like a towel. Yeah, yeah, I can towel. Well, should I get it? Yeah, sure. Okay. You can go ahead and get it. You want some tea? I'd love some. You do? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Just give me a second. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I was, uh, I had to partially straighten up, but mm -hmm. I, I don't really get that many late calls. I don't make many. How's I get the day here?
Sorry. Morning. 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 <laughs> um, that's my wife. At the door. Um, might be ready for this. At least you're not a romantic psychopath. They have no remorse. It's okay to be confused. Is it? Mm-hmm. She's your ex-wife, right? Yeah. Just checking. Mm. Flower's brother is here to see his sister's body. I, I didn't know she was here. The missing person sent him over. Okay, we'll have Roxanne prepare for Julian, I guess. Thanks. Mr. Flowers? Dominic Da Vinci. I'm with the coroner's office. While we're setting up in here, uh, you can see her right from here. Can you tell me what happened to her? Well, some complications as a result of uh, alcohol poisoning and some aspiration in her lungs. Well, where was she found? In the harbor. In the harbor? Yes, sir. Was it suicide? Uh, I think you want to talk to the police. Yep. Okay. She was my little sister. I went over to Dad's, okay? And he wasn't home. Mm -hmm. He said he was home all night. Well, he didn't answer the door, so I went to Lisa's. And I didn't call you because you wouldn't make me come home, and I was tired. I can call Lisa's mother and ask her if you were there. She wasn't there. You and Lisa were alone over there? Where was her mother? At her boyfriend. She lets Lisa stay alone, like, all the time. Was anybody else over there? No! God, Mom! Don't do this again, hmm? Oh, here we go again. Round two. What? Abby says she went to your house and you went home. What? I was home? What happened to the key? It wasn't there and you didn't answer when I knocked. It's a doorbell. Whatever. He would have heard it. Whatever. Back me up here. Yeah, it was possible I didn't hear her. But I think the point is that we have to know where you are at all times from now on. Understand? I have a life. Okay? 
quit worrying about me. I'm gonna go over to Lisa's and do some homework and nothing is gonna happen to me. God, all you two do all day long is look at dead people. You're paranoid. You want a lift? I'll give you a lift. Whatever. Just wait a minute. you with your girlfriend. My girlfriend? That's not my girlfriend. Oh, whatever. Look, you could have just said that. I do not want you to start lying to protect me. Do you understand? But then you two would have started fighting again, and I've had enough of that. Me too. But you keep doing it. I know. It's like this non-stop war. I mean, one of you lobs a bomb at the other, and the other lobs one right back. That's how it looks, I guess. She hurts you by going out with your old best friend. And... He was never my best friend. Okay, whatever. Okay. You have a right to a life, Dad. So does Mom. So do I. It's just hard. It's just one day stopping involved. Well, don't stop being involved. Thanks for taking me. John sticks it to Jane. I'm on the scene for four hours. I interview the suspects. I canvass the neighborhood. I'm working my ass off on the street for 15 hours. And now you want me to come back and fill out this by comp thing. By clock. Yeah, well, whatever. You want me to forget that my wife is at home alone, sleeping in the bed, and fill out this 26-page questionnaire on the remote frickin' chance that some sort of pattern will emerge. You know, animals like Bernardo and Olsen would have been caught and put in jail a lot sooner. Computers don't save lives. They're machines. You're a Luddite. You prefer we bust the machines? Yeah, before they bust us. This case seems similar to the others. Hold that, will you? You remember interviewing some guy woke up beside a dead woman? Baby. Five or six years ago? Eight years ago. She was beat up. Flynn was on the scene. Yeah, we let the guy go. Pathology said the bruises were old and unrelated. Thanks. Yeah, well, he's in the neighborhood. He runs a cafe down on Gore Street. <clears throat> I interviewed this guy a couple of weeks ago. He knew one of the victims, Roxanne. She used to use his address for mail. I suppose you're going to tell me now if I'd have filled out one of these profiler reports when you caught the guy a long time ago. No, I was thinking more along the lines of how he interviewed the guy and didn't even twig. Well, it was declared an overdose, and we don't do the autopsies. I don't recall any specifics, no. When? Who did the autopsy? Yeah. No. Thanks for letting me know. Helen. Yeah? Call Patricia and see if she's available for a meeting this afternoon. Please. The only thing we know is that they all ingested huge amounts of alcohol shortly before death. So is there any evidence that he forced it down their throats? No. It was a massive ingestion. It had to be voluntary. Whether there was coercion, there's no physical evidence of it. We do have some vaginal tearing, but that's not uncommon. 
If I'm going to prosecute, I need enough evidence to charge him first. I mean, even if his DNA is a match, they can only prove that he had sex with her, not that he killed her. You can bring him in for an interview. That might be premature. He'd be warned. If there's an alternative, I'd like to hear it. If a witness shows up, maybe she can ID him. Maybe we can get him unattempted. The invisible witness? When the hell is she gonna turn up? This whole goddamn case is turning out to be invisible. I want him watched. Okay. Leo, you got a minute? I'm going to ask Cosmo, the partner of Leary, for the remainder of the investigation. Any particular reason? I'd like a female investigator working on it. Female investigator? I think it'd be better for the department, and I think it'd be a good opportunity for Cosmo. Sure, I understand. I appreciate it. I'm being sandbagged. What are you talking about? This guy did it, and they start asking why he wasn't nailed eight years ago. The finger points right here. Jesus, you want me to speak up? <laughs> They're looking for a goat. Pay attention, Mick. Asses are being covered here. Mine just got kicked out of bed. Sonia. Hey. Hello, dummy. Look good. What's happening? Oh, one of your pathologists is on to some skeletons in Chinatown. Hey, prove interesting. Oh, yeah. That's going to bring Vancouver to a standstill for sure. That's what Flynn gave you? Yeah. Yeah? In exchange for what? Future consideration. Meaning that for that, he's going to give you exclusive on something and you're going to tip him off if something breaks in the press? Is that the idea? Sonia, I'll make you the same deal. Or I shut my door. Come on. The cops have a suspect in the bunker thing. They're gonna pick him up. It's a police investigation now. It's none of our business. It's certainly none of yours. This guy figures out a perfect murder, Jimmy. He's operating it for... 10, 12, how many years? A cold-blooded, goddamn necrophile, maybe. This guy, if it's him, sleeps with the dead. And they think that he's gonna suddenly confess, they stick him in a room and sweat him a little bit? You don't really believe that, it's do you? It's their call now. We came up with nothing, they came up with a suspect. It's their Look at this, totally balls it up. But that works for you, doesn't it? That's right. That's right. You totally covered your ass with the press here on this one. This office comes out clean, so no problem. Jimmy, I don't know how it is you sleep at night. But I guess if I did want to know, all I gotta do is go check with the ex. Sonny wants to see you. Thanks. Do you think this is a freeze <laughs> No shit. We arrest the suspect, they go for a press van. The story's tied up. Everybody's ass is covered. Well, the police are doing the best they can. It all comes down to a statement from a guy we both know is not going to talk. Not if you beat him half to death. Yeah. So nope, he's on the snake dog set to the Yukon. You've been outside.
wants a blind alley out back, so if he comes out, he's gonna come out the front. So, uh, how's Leo doing with this? Leo? Oh, you yeah. know. Didn't deserve to be taken off the case that way. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Looks out pretty good for you, though, huh? Are you accusing me of something? Did you tell Regan Gloria thought he might have been a trick? I don't give a shit what he does as a citizen. It's none of my business. You're right. Do I want a permanent spot in homicide? Yep, I'd kill for it. <laughs> Fact is, I don't think he's paying attention. Or maybe he's just forgotten what the job is. That's my personal opinion. I keep it that way. Good night. Hey, Marcy. Thanks. Coming, Audrey. Hi. See you tomorrow. Sure. Thanks for everything. I enjoy your company.